What's going on guys and welcome back to the most spectacular read through of all times I am the big cliche I am big papa pump without the pump I am the rock that is never hard King Kong got a lot on me I am T B R Terabyte Reacts and I would just like to say you're welcome. Welcome back guys to another episode of Berserk <clears throat> Manga Read Through. And I have to say, man, um first of all, before I get into that, let me apologize to you guys for not being able to do this in the last um, month. I think I did put out a reading last month. I don't remember exactly the date of when I did it last month. Um, yes, actually, no. Actually, it's been over a month. I did it. I did it on at the end of November. So it's been over a month. So. I apologize for that, guys. Um, if you guys have been following the channel, you know that December was super busy for me. At least I started to get busy at like the end of at the end of September. Everything just went out of whack because we were preparing for the holiday season on the multiple things that I do. So it just became a little bit overwhelming because it's the first year um that i've ever been that busy so hey man business is good <laughs> that's all i can say but anyways man i do owe you guys a lot so i'm gonna try to do at least at least just because of it's a new year also so happy new year um just because of that of me not putting out any content for berserk last month i'm gonna try to do at least for this month at least for this month just because i missed the entire month of december of uploading berserk i did upload some other um some other mangas i made sure i got an ippo out because i think ippo was even more like past um and also we did a new manga also which is pumpkin scissors which i would strongly suggest uh well i can't even suggest it because it's only on patreon but whatever whatever you don't have to worry about it if you're watching this on youtube if you want to go see my reaction to to pumpkin scissors you can go join patreon if you want to it's not a big deal um so it's up to you if you want to do that, but just know that there's all there's an exclusive manga read through over there on Patreon right now. Um, so, and I will get to that in a second. But anyways, let's talk about Berserk. Last volume, we did see a culmination of the confirmation of um, Casca and Guts' relationship. They did the deed, but there was also the tragic the other tragic thing that was happening with Griffith um, getting caught with the king's daughter and, and he was tortured and all of that stuff. Um, Banner the Hawk was on the run and it just so happens that Guts came back and, you know, it's crazy things are happening. Let's just say that crazy things are happening, um, but I was glad that Casca and Guts, you know what I'm saying, like they, they got to to kind of understand each other from a certain point of view. We kind of got a little bit more backstory on Casca, so that was good. So we're going to jump into it, man, and see what this has to offer. So let's go and jump into it. As always, you already know, we're going to try to do the entire volume. This is volume 10. So let's jump into it. Let's go over here and see what this is all about. All right. So here we are. Here we are. All right. Let's 
move this up a bit so not bore you guys with the details okay so sparks from the sword tip that's where we at so this is definitely not a manga i could possibly like even try to put on youtube <laughs> it's too much it's too graphic man it's too real too real for youtube you know what i mean so let's push this up a bit here i like to keep that stuff a little bit up like that yeah so i can kind of know where the bottom of the window is yeah so all right so jumping into it this chapter is called sparks from a sword tip okay okay so we got guts and Casca talking it's strange like it's not even my own body i think Casca is the one talking is that that was your first time too right i don't know maybe um so uh, um Casca says i mean you were so rough at first like you were frantic or something it's understandable considering what happened to you. That's also why you used to hate being touched by anyone, isn't it? Yeah, that would explain it. It never mattered to you. Huh? When you first saved my life, for some reason at that time, it was fine, but only with you. Okay, so she leans over and kisses him They're like hey guts will you stay after we've rescued griffith here with the band of the hawk okay so she's asking him to stay with jado rickard pippin corcus the other corcus is still here ah oh my god corcus needs to go <laughs> i don't like the dude you know you guys know that you guys know I don't like Corcus, man. Corcus is, he's just a bitch. <laughs> anyway, so, is it everyone like it used to be? And God says, no. I want to draw the line. Keep things separate. I can't stay. Waterfall. That's right. There's one there too, huh? Where I've been holed up the past year. What has he been doing? <laughs> chopping, chopping logs. Like your sword's broken. Yeah, it is. Oh, so he was somewhere. I don't know where. So they're showing where he was. Is that good grief? First, you act like you're dead for a week. Then you go and almost kill yourself. Ha. Yeah. If you died, at least things will balance out around here, you freeloader. <laughs> He's like, hey, Godo. So he was with somebody called Godo for some staying with someone. He's like, Why are you a blacksmith all alone up here in the mountains? And he's like, I ain't alone. Daughter's with me. There's good ore to be had in those hills. They say elves used to live there long ago godo why are you a blacksmith my family's been blacksmith since my great-grandfather's days guts ask him do you like doing it and he replies don't know i like it it's neat says the daughter don't know i'll be one too hey careful with that Before I knew how to walk, this was in my hand, says Godo. Before I could decide if I liked it or not, I hit the iron in front of me. After that, I was so busy trying to improve and craft better stuff that one day I woke up an old man, eh, eh, simple enough. I've been striking the iron since I was born, just like folks who live don't know why they're alive. I don't know why I keep hiring. Hammering. <laughs> okay. 
Oh yeah, there is one thing I like about being a blacksmith. Sparks. Sparks are nice. I get engulfed in them. It feels like like my own life for an instant for an instant is springing into the air before my eyes. In the end, this is all there is for me, dreams. Is that what a dream is to me? His gut's talking to himself. So he's remembering what him the conversation him and Griffith had about, you know, and Griffith was naked and stuff in front of him, talking about, I will get my own kingdom. This was like the first meeting when he called him up, you know, you know, and threw water at him and shit. So it's not a clear, concrete destination like what Griffith said. It's not some lofty, glittering thing. Yeah. This is nearer to me like it's part of my body. He's talking about his sword. With this, I've kept myself alive through more moments than I can count because this was there. I once again threw myself into the jaws of death. Almost the entire time I've been alive, this was next to me as a part of my body. He's referring to his sword. When I lost Gambino, when I met Griffith and a man of the Ark, and when I parted with them, Zod the Immortal, suffering I should have never been able to bear, and moments I could sense death. I came through all of it with this. Unforgettable things, unforgettable people, and all of it by the tip of the sword. I get the feeling I've done it all by grasping a hilt in my hand. No. Actually, compared to what my hands touched, my swords touched a thousand times more. It's like this has been my life in and of itself. It feels like my own life for an instant is springing into the air before my eyes. Sparks. Maybe I've drawn in by them too. The little sparks that spring out when swords clash. All the thoughts of your life and your enemies striking and scattering the tiny lights of existence itself. You see, life there. I wield a sword. Maybe it's different from the dream Griffith talks about, but for no one else's sake. Without being swept up this time, it's by my own will. Making my own sparks, even for an instant. It may not be a worthwhile reason, but I've finally found it. My own thing. I'll stick around until we rescue Griffith and rebuild the band of the Ark. But that's it. After that, I continue my journey. Because I want to improve my skills more and challenge myself by crossing swords with stronger and stronger enemies. So he's on his Goku shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Like, he wants, he, he wants, he wants that kind of, I, I hope it's not, he's not trying to have that kind of relationship. I mean, a man's got to do what a man's got to do. But the relationship that Goku has with Chi-Chi is this, is basically this dude just wants to breed he just wants to have a woman where he can come home, do to do, not really raise his kids, right? Not really raise his kids or whatever, and just go fight strong enemies. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So I'm hoping that it's not the same here, that it's it, um, it's way deeper than that. So if I stay there, if I stay there, if I stay, there might be no lack of battles, but I'm sure there wouldn't be enough of the battles I want. I've made up my mind. I'll never entrust my sword to another again. I'll never hang from someone else's dream. From now on, every battle will be my own. Casca starts to laugh. <laughs> um, that was so grandly smoking. spoken. It must have taken all the brains you have. Not like the old you at all. Like Griffith. Really. And she threw leaves in his face. After all, you and Griffith are just the same. It's all about dreams, all about yourself. It's the same whether I'm around or not. You're just gonna leave again, right? You knew that from the start, right? Go then. 
Go fight by yourself until you're satisfied. Just go and die like a dog somewhere. Go and die with your beloved sword, you bastard. And <laughs> my dude just decided to grab her titty. <laughs> you know, <laughs> I'm going to drown you in that pool before someone else kills you. <laughs> and he says, come with come with me. I don't know what's ahead, whether being with you will get in the way of what I want to do or the opposite. I can't tell now, but at any rate, right now, right now, I can't have you enough. I want to have you hundreds, thousands of time. Stoop. More from here on, that's what I'm thinking now. It's like, don't say that. You know better. And they kiss. So, if she decides to go with him, that's cool. You get what I'm saying? Um, that That would be cool. She has all the reason now to leave the band of the Ark. Like, she doesn't need to stay with him. There's no reason to stay with him. Griffith can have his dream, whatever, whatever. So, three days prior, in the dense forest along the Midland border, an extraordinary event took place. Okay, some demon. Foresters caught sight of something. It emerged from a valley deep in the woods. A silhouette against the setting sun of some giant serpent-headed monster. Now, something beyond human knowledge has begun to stir. And we see the the um the behem the, the behelit necklace in the water. And that's the end of the chapter. Okay, next one. The Small Battles. What's the name of this one? Infil Infiltrating Windham, Chapter 1. So we're going to get Griffith, I guess, if he's still alive. Oh, I mean, we know he's kind of still alive, I guess. So, the small battles we fought on the cobblestone when we were still young. The small victories we achieved. The man sparkling junk spores we plundered. In the evening, staring up from the back alley of brothels and taverns where the sun never shines, I saw something. Shimmering against the setting sun, it was the brightest thing I had ever seen. I made up my mind. The junk I would get for myself would be that thing. We see a picture of Griffith. Darkness. Deep darkness without even a trace of light. How much time has passed since I was cast into this darkness? An eternity, but it also seems like an instant. All my senses are numbed, and I can't feel a thing. What of my body? It's like it's floating in midair. Have I retained my sanity? Did I go insane long ago? In all this emptiness, only one thing is vivid. Only him. Like lightning on a dark night, he rises up within me, blazing, and again and again, like a tidal wave, an infinite number of feelings surge upon me, malice, friendship, jealousy, futility, regret, tenderness, sorrow, pain, hunger, so many recurring yearning feelings, that giant swirl of violent emotions in which none are definite, but all are implied. That alone is the bond which keeps my consciousness from vanishing amidst the numbness. So Griffith is plunged into darkness thinking of guts. I know that I'm different from other people. Those I've met can, be, can by no means disregard me. They always view me with either a look of goodwill or animosity. I know that the goodwill forms into trust or fellowship and the animosity into awe or possibly dread. Thereby I have grasped the hearts of so many in these hands. But why is it when it comes to him I always lose my composure? 
He was the reason I've been thrown into this darkness, and now he's the sole sustenance keeping me alive. Out of so many thousands of comrades and tens of thousands of enemies, why just him? How long ago did someone I was supposed to have in hand instead gain such a strong hold on me? That endless play begun so long ago on the cobblestone of the Black Alley, the pilgrimage to claim what to me was the most sacred piece of junk. But now, as he shines so glaring within me, the junk grows dull. And he, he screams out, Gods! Okay, so... I, what? I see it. What is this? What is going on? <laughs> Why is there some little stuff coming through the the wall? That's weird. Whoa. Hallucination? And they're like, oh, Prince. Prince? Prince of us, the unforgiven. Prince? We seek an audience with you. Oh, so I'm guessing this is a turning point. In time, at that place, we shall meet. We are kinsmen. O oh, blessed king of longing. Okay, so I'm guessing that is the the introduction to, you know, him becoming, you know, part of the God Hand or whatever that thing was. So, um, okay, so we got the Band of the Hawk people now. Okay, we're back here. It's that time. Oh, man. If only it weren't for this journey, I could have gone with everyone. We've been together for so long now, too. Don't be so down about it. We'll let you be the first to hug Griffith when he returns. Just leave this to us. Guts, do my part too. Be sure to get Griffith out. Sure. And then, I'm sure just like old times. Everyone mount and form up. Uh-oh. From here, we split into two groups that will operate independently. The Griffith Rescue Squad is to depart immediately. Casca jumps up on her horse. I don't know what just happened. She hit something? <laughs> I don't know. She looked like... <laughs> Why did she jump up too hard? Is is You know what I'm saying? I guess... I guess the... the I guess the Punani hurt. Yeah, you know say it's like, let's go, boss. <laughs> what? <laughs> Nothing. Griffith Rescue Squad. We depart for Winham. Okay, so they ride out. Okay, so we're three three days later. going through the graveyard and like tell me why we're in a graveyard talk about gloomy Winham's before our eyes we visiting somebody's grandpa <laughs> it's like secret passage oh a castle that you has to have one or two secret escape passages common sense in war come on if we find it that easy it'll quit I quit being immersed. <laughs> I found it. <laughs> oh my God. He's like, retirement it is. <laughs> retirement it is. <laughs> like, this is it. Okay, so they found the secret entrance so easy. Like Pippin. So Pippin comes and pushes over the headstone. Okay, cool. No mistake. This is it. And Pippin is like, will I fit in there? I'm like, all right, let's go. Wait a minute. God says, wait a minute. 
Pippin and Judo, I can see. But after all, ain't it a bad idea for you, our leader, to go in there? Um, Koska says, what choice is there? It's obvious that we're the band of the Hawks' strongest members. Sending in too many people would just make us stand out. At any rate, if we can't get Griffith out, it's meaningless. This team has the highest potential for success. Yeah, but... <laughs> she got up in his face like, hey! You're worried, aren't you? <laughs> I figured as much that that because naturally that's like for all right. You see, to let me take a small break to say something, a minute or so. Today's, I don't want to say in in completion of all women. I'm just telling you from my experience in in America. It might be different around the world. But today, in my experience with women, women don't want to see you do stuff like that. But it's very natural for men to do this. You get what I'm saying? To want to protect, want to, is not that we think you're weak. I'm saying this because I know probably one or two women watch my read throughs. May not be any, but <laughs> I'm just saying. Women. They, for some reason, they they think that we're calling them, we're, we think they're weak because we want to protect them, because we worry about them in in certain situations. You get what I'm saying? Um, you know, so I get the whole independence thing, like I get it. But things like this is very natural. You get what I'm saying? What are you doing here is very natural. It's the first thing that came to my head when he, when he suggested that, <laughs> but he suggested her not go. It wasn't because of no leader. It's because he's trying to put it in a way where she doesn't feel weak. You get what I'm saying? So he's basically saying, you know what I'm saying? You're the leader. Maybe you shouldn't go. You get what I'm saying? But she got up in his face and she says, you're worried, aren't you? <laughs> They're like, give me a break. Um, Guts is like, give me a break. When it comes to sword fighting, I'm even better than those two. That's what um, Casca says. <laughs> He's like, you're a pro Merc right now. Leave your personal feelings out of the plan. <laughs> Obey your superiors, <laughs> your superiors orders. <laughs> and she looks back at him and says, I can at least watch your back. Don't forget it. And he says, right. <laughs> and they're laughing. <laughs> they're laughing their ass off at him. She says, let's go. So they all go down, including Pippin. I don't know how the hell his big ass going to fit in that hole, but we'll see. So, so end of the chapter. Next chapter, chapter two, infiltrating Windham. Let's get it. Okay, so they're in there in the passageway. They're running. Griffith. Guts is thinking about Griffith. Like, you are always looking up, rising to the top, paying heed to nothing but ascension, flying alone above all, the hawk. Yes, you would never come down to the land where we crawl, the boundless hawk. Frustration, resignation, there's no one who those words fit less. Composed, ruthless, shrewd. Tell me, do I need a reason each time I put myself in harm's way for your sake? Always winning, always taking. Do you think that I'm cruel? Says Griffith. I remember that. Griffith's no good without you. If that's the case, then I... Okay, so there, there. We're here. We sure found this passage easily enough. We have someone on the inside. Insurance. A mausoleum. Wow. <laughs> a mausoleum leading to a graveyard. That's creepy. <laughs> anyway, so from the grave to the grave. You're right. That was weak. Who's there? Huh. 
they're on our side. You are the band of the hawk. We've been waiting for you. You really did come. Thank goodness I kept wondering what was to become of us if you did not arrive. I almost expect to see ghosts here. Guts asked them, who are you? Oh, you. You shouted, hey pal, at Lord Julius when you were with Lord Griffin. You did what? I remember it. Oh, shit. Is, is Charlotte? No freaking way. She's the inside person? No. 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 <laughs> Not Charlotte. Charlotte out here. What? She says, how do you do? And he's like, the princess? Then the one on the inside, Guska, is like, you're being rude. Uh, Charlotte says, I, I do not mind. And he's like, I am Casca, acting leader of the Band of the Hawk. Your Highness, devotion and efforts have made it possible for us to be present here tonight. The entire Band of the Hawk offers its deepest gratitude. Oh, I remember you too. On the morning you set out for Doldry, you're the knight I asked to protect Lord Griffith. So you are a woman. I did not notice. <laughs> uh, but I knew at a glance this time, though. <laughs> so she thought Casca was a was a dude. Okay, so I wonder why. Because it's dark. She mistook her for a woman, you know. <laughs> and Casca hits him in the face. It's the highness. More importantly, we haven't much time. We mustn't lose a moment in rescuing Griffith. Sir Griffith, there isn't much time until dawn. Yes, you're right. Come, let's hurry this way. I recognize this area. Yeah, I never even imagined a homecoming like this one. Princess Charlotte, the next in line to the throne of Midland. Even though she's princess of a kingdom, she doesn't have the characteristics high-handed bearing of royalty or nobility. She seems cheerful and kind. Even the woman in me got a good impression. And... She's Griffith's. Now that things have come to this, does Griffith still see her as necessary? My feelings of admiration for Griffith haven't changed, but it still bothers me. I'm still jealous. I don't want to be this way. Miss Casca, I must apologize. My father's, his majesty's, behavior towards Lord Griffith and all of you a year ago. As his blood relative, I feel I must apologize from the bottom of my heart. And Casca replies, not, not at all. There's no call for your highness to apologize. It was through your help that we were able to infiltrate Winham this way. Please do not let it trouble you. However, we're never going to clear the air like this. If you know would you please tell us what in the world happened the day before we were entrapped the night before Griffith was in prison and Charlotte says I I understand your your highness it's all right said that night Lord Griffith was in my chambers <laughs> Casca's face is like who goes what are you doing there And, you know, Guts is always ready to pull. It's like, Princess, Your Highness, the hell? Who in God's name is out at this? So they both bow. Okay, why, Princess Charlotte? How rude of us. It matters not. Lift your heads. But what brings you out here so late? I sought the night breeze, so I was just going for a walk. Um, of course, but wasn't it the case that your highness was not to leave the palace? 
Those were his majesty's orders. But, but I cannot stand it. It's hard to breathe. Therefore, I chose to come out at this hour to avoid being seen by people. I ask you, please, I will go back inside in several hours, so do not speak of this. But, well, Anna, uh, yes, yes. Okay. It isn't much, but please take this. Consider it a supplemental tip. Oh, well, in that case. <laughs> like, all right, the best of you and your bodyguards. Not bad. I thought you were just a timid, sheltered princess. <laughs> Girl is like, pardon? <laughs> eh. Why is she, is she gonna faint? It's like, I'm alright. I was just a little nervous, but it looks like I was of some use. <laughs> Let go of your her, you lout. <laughs> it, said, it is as you said. I don't know anything and can't do anything. I'm just some sheltered girl. I myself can't believe what I just managed to do. I think it must have been because it was for his sake, for Lord Griffith's sake. Now we must hurry. He's like, good. Sorry. Hey, should I hold your hand? <laughs> this is good. It's like, let's go. But she hangs on to his coat. Oh. I don't know. I, I, she's worried a bit. So he says to her, you ain't some lost kid. Thought we'd be keeping personal feelings out of it. That's one old looking tower. The Tower of Rebirth. You know about it? Among the many towers in Windham, it's the most ancient. They say it's been here since the time Midland was established. Possibly even before then. I don't exactly know why it was built, but it seems in times of war, prisoners and during the Inquisition, heretics were imprisoned on underground beneath this tower. No, even now the underground part of this tower is used as prison. I've heard that Lord Griffith is confined in the room on the lowest level. Thank you so much for your assistance, your highness. We will go on by ourselves from here. If it's discovered that the princess is not a palace, it will cause a citywide panic. What's up? So Casca is talking to Shado. You sure about letting her leave now? What? I've got nothing against her either, honestly. But in battle, you have to use what you can. I don't uh, like. You can't. You can't be thinking about using her as a hostage. I'm not agreeing with that. So you don't mean she'd make a good hostage if we took her now, which is, you know. No. Don't say such foolish things. The princess is the one who guided us this far, and you'd bite the hand that fed us. I don't think, so Jado says, I don't think that's the case. If we invite her in good faith, she might surprise you by consenting. After all, that way she could be together with her beloved Lord Griffith. Yeah, yeah, true. Regarding that, I do not mind. She overheard them? Whoa. She's like, no, I myself ask it too. Would you be willing to take me along with you? Damn. I mean, we know that Charlotte was in love with Griffith. That was not, you know what I'm saying, like out of the question. So Festival Eve, Chapter 1, but we're going to take a break here, come back for the next part. Okay, so she is she is willing to leave. That's cool. Okay, so here we are, Festival Eve. Chapter 1. Would you be willing to take me along with you? She says, Your Highness. You mustn't, Your Highness. So Anna is out here talking, trying to advise her. 
If you did that, the whole castle, no, all of Midland would be turned on his head in panic. Do you realize what heartbreak it would cause for his majesty to give? She could give a shit. I could give two rat's asses against this, uh, for this king. He's a freaking pervert. Wants to bang his own daughter. What a bum. Oh my god. Fucking pedophile, man. I can't stand people who are like that, bro. Stop it. And she's like, I care not. I don't even acknowledge that man as my father. You're high. Because she probably didn't tell any of them what happened. She probably didn't tell nobody what happened. They probably think she's lying too. Your Highness, what a thing to say. Never you mind. Please, Miss Casca. I have almost never been away from this castle. I understand nothing of things on the outside. I can't ride a horse well, and I can't use a sword. I might just be a be a burden, but if I can be with Lord Griffith, I would endure being a hostage or anything. It is so sad because she doesn't even know that Griffith was just using her to get higher status, to get his kingdom, per se. Um, I'm against this, says Casca. It's like, Casca, as a hostage, your highness may very well be optimum. However, with the band of the hawk in its present weakened state, you would be a double-edged sword that could conceivably destroy us. But why? Once we rescue our leader Griffith and make our escape, even if he was once a military commander, to Midland it will not change the fact that a criminal is on the loose. Even if we are pursued, Midland could hope to gain no more of a benefit than the capture of one criminal. Although, if we take your highness with us, it becomes an, hitch, a, an issue on a national scale, the king will likely try to get you back by any means necessary. Even if we can get across the kingdom's border and escape, chances are a proclamation will reach other nations and the pursuit will never slacken. Which is very true, she says, but, but still. And above all, once word gets around that we've taken a woman hostage, good point. From then on, Sir Griffith would have to bear a disgrace that could never be erased. If that happens, Griffith's path to success would be closed off. He may never be able to go out into the world again. Don't you even care about that? I just, I just wanted to be with him. <laughs> and Guts is there thinking, like, why are we talking so much now? Griffith is so close too, <laughs> like. I do think it's a pity, but if your thoughts lie chiefly with Sir Griffith, please listen to reason. No. Never. <laughs> Did she just... If I say I'm going to go, if I say it, then I'm going with Lord Gr <laughs> She's acting like a child. <laughs> okay, so there... <laughs> Trying to cover up her mark because he started to scream. He's like, that's one hell of a princess. What now? If we let go, she'll scream again. Tying her up would be quickest. <laughs> yes, you can take your hands away. I understand. Let's go together. Really? However, in the event that Sir Griffith tells you it's futile, then you must please give up. But, okay, fine, I'll just convince him if I have to. Highness, what about me then? We're wasting time on this crap. <laughs> come on, the sun will come up, let's go. Hey, and Casca said, I'm a... Horrible woman. What? Why? What you said sounded right enough. Yeah, but that's true and all, but somewhere in my heart, hearing the princess talk about Griffith like that, I... S 
sorry guts uh like damn it making a big deal over something stupid weren't you the one who said not to mix personal feelings into this griffith's in front of our faces focus i'm sorry i apologize i didn't mean for as she's thinking what have i done like I said, now's not the time to be talking about that stuff. She apologizes again. Let's hurry. That's right. I can't stand it when you brood over Griffith that way. But the thing I can't stand most is that I feel like I'm just going to accept it. The one who still hasn't unbound himself from Griffith is me. Like, he doesn't like the fact that she still, like, cares about Griffith like that. But, at the same time, like, they both kind of feel the same way about him. Um, I don't think what she has for him is love. It's more of, like, this is the dude that rescued me. So, there's some sort of... There's a, 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 there's a love there, but it's not, like, desire, you know, sex kind of love you know what i'm saying is more of like a really deep friendship a really deep friendship um you know she gets jealous i don't know man i don't want to get too deep in this, this is a discussion for another day <laughs> anyways judo on it please look the other way your highness okay so they're attacking they attack the guards took out the guards okay they got the keys. They're heading now. Where is this? Meanwhile. Oh, this is back at the camp, I guess. Hang in there, Griff. will be back soon. If you die now, you'll have to haunt him. Okay. You said it. Think I'd die without having a chance to see the boss's face? Not even if you put a thousand more stitches in me. Rickert. We're out of water. Head down to the lake and draw some more right are they gonna get attacked it's like once griffith comes back yeah the ox will be back in business he goes out to the lake to catch water it's like everyone's so cheerful it's only natural a little longer a little longer and griffith will come back we took a huge detour but as long as we've got griffith again okay sees a whatever this is what is that so Rickard is like frightened I don't know what it is a butterfly a elf uh, I don't know what it is okay so flew off is like an elf maybe spider spread away it's like ah I saw it, no mistake. That was enemy raid. At a time like this, a little more, a little more, and Griffith would have been back. How could, how could it end at a time like this? But what is that? How is that an indication of an enemy raid? I what? I don't understand. It's like guys, what the hell? Where is everybody? Okay, whatever that is. It's like, what? Guys, where where did everybody go? Did they all realize there was a raid and ran and run away? Why would they leave you though? Even so, I don't see any enemies. Some something's weird. Something is weird. Uh run. Kim? R run, Rick. What the hell is app ha what? Who is this? Whoa. Holy moly. Something is eating the band of the hawk. Wait a minute, didn't we kill Bro, this is um isn't this the count? I'm trying to remember which one of them this was, but Guts did kill this guy. Or this is the last one he killed before he went into when when 
when he went into the um the labyrinth of sorts i can't remember the name of this this one but this is the guy that was um you guys know who i'm talking about man it's him so he's eating them rickert is trembling and he's like can't be that thing can't exist bruh what is going on another one what is going yo bro this is creepy as hell okay and you're one of them too this is what she saw flew away just now right what is going on right now she's doing something up there it's like my body won't move and then they're going after rickert now it's like guys Oh my god, what is this thing, man? Are they gonna get Rickard? Withdraw! I think we saw this dude one time before. I don't remember. Something is in my eye. Withdraw. So he tells them to withdraw why i don't know you shouldn't have time to amuse yourself with slaughter in a place like this haste is needed is it not so they all just left the hell what's going on i mean i'm just as scared as you because i don't know what's going on either and they just left them piled up like that damn no way they were in such good cheer till just now they were so happy griffith was coming back how did this this can't be happening and he just rides off into the moon. Thousand year fife dumb. Okay, so we have the crew back that's going for Griffith. I don't know what just happened. That was very a strange set of panels. And and these demons, one of them looked very familiar. Okay. One of them looked very familiar. So we got impress. Okay, so they're heading down the dungeon or whatever. Like, impressive. This goes a lot deeper than the part of the tower above ground. So they're searching all the cells. I, damn, that's ugly. Whatever that is. So, oh, you okay, princess? Yes. Maybe you should have waited up top after all. He's right, highness. No, <laughs> no. I'll go. I swear it. I want to see Lord Griffith as soon as possible. I hear you. Stand up. I can't quite stand now. Oh, you got to be kidding. This is why I can't stand the upper crust. Here, I'll carry you. She says, I couldn't. Is that quit taking so long? Otherwise, you wait here alone. If you don't like that, hop on. Sorry, it's not going to be as nice as a princess carriage. <laughs> now, let's go. She says, thank you for your trouble. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. How far down does this hole go anyway? I heard this from the king, but the underground prison was built after the time of the Inquisition, and it goes down no further than about the depth of the tower. But the hole itself existed long before the prison was built. Its depth is greater than any mountain in all of Midland. Mountain? 
just what's at the bottom of this hole? Do you all know the origin of this kingdom's name, Midland? No, does that have something to do with this hole? It goes back a long time, about a thousand years ago. In those days, this continent saw constant warring between small city-states and many different tribes. Apparently, it was an age of rival warlords. Continuous warfare ruined the land and due to food shortages, plague, and the like. It said that fully a third of the population died. <laughs> so God says, don't sound too different from nowadays. No progress. And she says, but finally some someone appeared who put an end to the war in age. Supreme King Gasserick. He was an emperor who was able to subjugate dozens of nations and establish an age-old empire encompassing this entire continent for the first and only time in history. No one knows what country he came from or when or how he raised an army. No records whatsoever remain regarding his account prior to his arrival on the stage of history. Sounds kind of like Griffin. I'm trying to make sure I don't have feedback. Most times I can't, I can't hear the feedback, but I can look at it. I can look at my mic levels and see if there's feedback coming through. So I'm not a hundred percent sure right now because sometimes things come on inside the room I'm in because there's a refrigerator in this room too. So there's multiple refrigerators in the house. So it's like there's one in this room because I don't like to when I'm working <laughs> when I'm working inside this room. I like to have things right there you know what i'm saying a cold beverage or two <laughs> you know what i mean so yes yeah, so i'm making sure there's no because sometimes if the refrigerator does um it chips in and messes with the with the frequency on the mic so it's well it gives off a sound <laughs> don't pay me no mind anyway sounds kind of like griffin so from the merciless and ruthless way of fighting the emperor would use against those enemies who opposed them, it seems he was given such names as Demon King and the King of Galloping Death, but there was one other reason for this. Whenever Emperor Gasserick went into battle, he would don... I don't know why I'm moving my screen like that. It's weird. He would don a dreadful helmet shaped... like a shape after a skull hmm so immediately guts gets you know light bulb if you will couldn't be ah that one i've heard of the fairy tale of the skull king so there was a model for it according to the legend I think he gathered workers from all over the empire and forced them through hard labor to build a large capital city. Then the king then the king lived in the utmost extravagance while leaving heavier and heavier taxes on the people. The city ended up becoming a melting pot of what is that feasting and pleasure at least I think but God finally decided he couldn't condone the Skull King's deeds and sent five angels by lightning and great earthquake the city was was erased from the face of the earth without a trace in the span of a night weren't there four of them oh yeah but what does a fairy tale like that have to do with this hole that is not just some fairy tale at the least 
the city did exist. Oh, wow. Apparently, the name of the city meant land in the middle of nations. So, it received the name Midland. And that city that fell into the ground by way of natural calamity is said to be sleeping still, just as it was then in a place untouched by either sunlight or wind. At the bottom of this hole. Is that true? All of that was taught to me by my history teacher. I don't know if it is true or not. But it seems that after the emperor's death and the, and the collapse of the imperial capital, the continent gradually became the territory covered with assorted countries we know today. The emperor had no children, so it isn't a direct line. But it is said that even out of all those countries, the Midland royal family is the only one that carries Gasserick's blood. Oh... Also, it is fact that investigative teams have descended this hole many times, but not one person returned safely. It is said the Tower of Rebirth was built in order to seal that unclean pass. You don't say, says Casca, so that was our unknown history tour. But if this place has that much history, we might see some ghosts. <laughs> ah. Bummer. What are you doing? Somebody dropped their um, thing. Their torch. Bruh. Get all these bodies down here, man. That's creepy. And they all. Wait a minute. That's the brand. That, that's the brand. That's the brand that Guts has on his neck. What? You're like, what is it? My imagination, huh? Nothing at all. Oh, somebody is following them or something. Oh, that's crazy. Anyways, that's it. Griffith. He's been at the bottom of this darkness. For a whole year. Let me down, please, Highness. I'm getting tired of Anna saying Highness all the damn time. Say something else. Jesus. My God. I just I stop reading her thing because all she says is Highness. Like everything she does, Highness. Highness. <laughs> anyway, so Lord Griffith, Lord Griffith. So they're, they have the key, they open the door. They get inside, it's like, talk about stale. So they're calling for him, Griffith, Griffith. Maybe he's in another cell. That cannot be, I'm sure it was the lowest level. They're like, someone's here. Griffith. My God. Griffith. Griffith. Bruh, did they lock the freaking... Yo, these... Yo, my guy. Reunion in the abyss. Bro, did they... Freaking lock the freaking hawk helmet onto his head. Oh my god, that is. <sighs> Bruh. All right, let's continue. Let's continue here because this is pissing me off. Because these guys are they're, they're not cool, man. They're not cool, bro. They're not cool, man. It picks him up. It looks like some parts of his skin is even missing. His old back. I mean, if this is Griffith, man, this is... Bruh, he's like he's rotting. Is he dead? It's like his arm 
and leg and tendons are all cut. His tongue, too. Casca, the key. She is frozen in place. It's like, Casca. Okay, so they take off the helmet. Stay back. Get the hell away. It's like, that can't be. This can't be. It can't be Griffith. Griffith. He's still alive. He lifts his hand. Bruh, this can't be fucking Griffith, dude. Like, ah, fuck. This is tough, man. This is, it's tough. I, I'm not the biggest Griffith fan, but I hate to see human beings in conditions like this. Is sad, man, and their their reaction to it. Whew, this one is a tough one. All right, let's let's keep going. Um, of course, God starts to cry. Is that Lord Griffith? Let go. Release me. It's like, why? What's what's happened to Lord Griffith? Tell me. What did they do to him? I, they probably did something to his face. They probably did something to his face. Because he was such a pretty boy. You know what I'm saying? You know. Her heart. It's like, that's that's far enough. Who is this? What is that? E. am the Plaches Jailer. Don't be afraid, your highness. I'm kind of... M kind of a mesh to look at. You people can't get away now. Because I locked the door. I call the soldiers, too. They'll come running soon. So give up... So give up, niche. And quiet. Your highness... Be patient here a bit longer. This means I've got some new toys again. And and his majesty will be happy with me too. Guts says, hey. Guts is pissed right now. You the one. The one who did all this to Griffith. No. No use getting mad. This door is four times normal thickness. As the weird, I'm not going to pronounce stuff like how it's being written because <laughs> I am not going to force myself. I'm just going to try to. I, I know that it's a funny way of. It's a way out of character is talking, but it's just. It's weird to me. So I'm just going to read it normally. So even if you hit it with a hammer, it don't budge. Besides, his majesty said I could do whatever I wanted. So I did. So it's not my fault. I've never had a pupil as pretty as him in my care. I put a lot of effort into torturing him. First, to keep him from running away... I cut the tendons in his arms and legs. Then, whenever he wasn't eating or sleeping, I'd take off his skin and nails. I'd use hot iron, boiling water, to you name it. This past year, I've seen to him constantly. Like we were husband and wife. I'm also the one who nursed him so he wouldn't die. 
you couldn't split us apart we was so close and you know when you're as professional a torturer as I am beauty isn't just skin deep when I peel the skin away I can recognize the beauty of muscles and blood vessels too oh I was so moved when I opened up that beautiful face the pink muscle that peeked out at me from the wound his skin and flesh are one in a hundred one in a thousand oh yeah yeah this is the best part of my collection look the this this my good luck charm a tongue his tongue <sighs> do this man Whew. how is it that nobody has not killed this dude yet like like I wouldn't even I'm not waiting to hear this story he needs to die he he needs to die somebody needs to poke him through the hole or something man come on bro so guts gets up like I said it's no get use getting mad so guts gets up and goes right through the freaking door that's what i'm talking about right there man that's what i'm talking about everybody sitting there i have like listening to this yo everybody sitting there listening to this man this dude needs to die i want to hear that somebody needs to to hit him through them jail cell holes or something bust the door down get mad enough Come on, man. Man, must have disfigured his face, man. So Guts gets him. And cuts his tongue out nice. Seeing as how you're gonna die, you ain't getting into heaven double-tongued. You're crying for your life now. Guts cuts his tongue out. Forget it. Your breath reeks too much. You're going to hell. I can't hear you. Speak clearly. Asking for help? Now you're asking for help? Mm-mm. Okay, so here comes the 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 soldiers talking about don't move. Hmm. That's far enough. Throw down your weapons and surrender quietly. Miss Koska, I will. You really shouldn't. Guts. Oh, Guts is so pissed right now. He is so pissed right now, and I'm sharing the sentiment. I am sharing the sentiment. Everybody needs to die at this point. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Come up with me. Guts. Guts is going to tear all of y'all apart, man. Come on, Guts. Let's go. Let's go, man. Let's go. Let's see some limbs fly. That's what I want to see. Let's get it. Chopping them all up. It's like, how dare you? You resist. What are you doing? Shoot. Shoot. Nah, bruh. None of that ain't going to work. None of that is not going to work. Using them as shields. Cool. And then just slice and dice. That's what I want to see. Carnage. Carnage for all. That's what I want to see. Fools, who told you to retreat? Stand your ground. Stop that. We'll fall. I don't care if all y'all fall. Chop him up. Mince meat. Let's go. Okay, that's horrible. Bloody rain. <laughs> Judo. <laughs> it's crazy. Anyway, so... They're there looking at Griffith. They can't even show his face because his face is probably disfigured as hell. It's crazy, man. Lord Griffith, Lord Griffith. Can you go on, your highness? Pippin, see the Griffith. So Pippin is going to pick up. Right. For now, for now, all I can think about is getting Griffith out of this place. Let's go. Don't fall behind, Guts. Don't fall behind, Guts. 
Hmm, what's taking so long? I hear voices, sir. Well, it's about time. It seems they've returned. How could a mere four insurgents give 30 men so much trouble? But, Captain, sir, the band of the heart means that... Means that hundred man killer simpleton you really think the captain of the raiders would perform this rescue himself besides you know that's a story that's happened in the confusion of a battle and has gotten exaggerated think about it where in the world is there anyone who could cut down a hundred armed soldiers at the most a dozen or so you, you ain't heard about guts my friend you didn't hear here he comes though you gonna find out real quick if the legend is true or not Let's do it. All right. So here comes um, Guts slicing and dicing. Huh? It's like I know him. It It's Gus, the Hawks Raiders captain. Guts, the hundred man killer. Guts, captain. What are you doing? Surround him and circle him. But you're scared of this dude. It's like idiots. He's run up all this way, swinging the big, that big sword around. See for yourself, he's already out of breath, now that you mention it. You fools, in battle, if you let your opponent see you're winded, it's the same as throwing away most of your chance of victory. Watch carefully and learn the intensity of the battlefield. There goes the head. You're talking too much, bro. You're talking too much. You're talking too much. That's why you got that. Talking too much shit. Guts is... Guts is... Guts is just chopping them down. He don't care about nothing right now. He's like, incredible, like a whirlwind. Follow him. Um, stay your hands, fool. Oh, this nigga old, old now, huh? Yeah, you bitch ass. Like the princess. What what would you do if you hit Charlotte? Your, ma your majesty. But at this rate, never. Absolutely nothing must ever happen to expose the princess to danger. Withdraw your troops immediately. Damn you. Damn you, Griffith. You should have rotted away beneath that tower long ago. You've crawled out from the depths of darkness to take my Charlotte again. So you would steal my light and run. I won't let you. Majesty. Bakiraka, sir. Summon the Bariraka. Who the hell is the Bakiraka? Who the... The Bakiraka? Everybody is like, whoa. This dude is pretty huge. <laughs> is this him? Or is this... Or is all of them? <laughs> I guess it's all of these dudes. Is the Bakiraka. So let's continue here. Bakiraka, chapter one. Okay, so we got these dudes. I guess they're the Bakiraka. Okay, so Bakiraka, these, these are... Captain, what on earth are Bakiraka? I don't know much myself, but they're a fighting group from a people to the east. Highly skilled in assassination. They're also called a murderer's guild and an assassination order. The full story is completely shrouded in mystery. But there are stories claiming that in the former time of war, a hundred rulers, vassals, and the like from assorted countries fell victim to them. In a way, they're more frightening than an army of 10,000. Assassination order? I never thought that they were employed here in Midland. Now listen, do away with every last one of those trying to take the princess from this castle. Especially that Griffith, you must kill him by any means necessary. If to that end, the five of you must cast away your own lives, I care not in the least. However... I will tolerate no harm to the princess. If by some chance even the tip of one of Charlotte's nails comes to, ha to harm, then the entire Midland army shall wipe the, Bar the Bakiraka clan from the face of the earth until none remain. Now go! 
present present Charlotte before me along with Griffith's head. Who is this person? This pedophile. I don't trust it. this is probably his new wife or something. Anyways, so they're walking through, they're walking through. Is that somehow we made it this far? But the soldiers' attacks seem to stop part way through. Did I imagine it? No, you ain't imagine it. Damn, Guts is already like... He, he, he scares me. And Costco walks over and starts... <laughs> Starts wiping him down. It's like, huh? At least wipe the blood off. The princess is frightened. Griffith sees that. It's like, now, let's hurry. Once we get on the ground, we're good to go. Uh, ah, just when I'd served for five years straight in the palace and thought I finally had the honor of attending to the princess. What I'd do to deserve this? What about my remittance to my parents? Anna, just stop. <laughs> I'm sorry, Anna, but take heart. Yes, yes, I know. I'm desperate anyways. I'll stay with you to the ends of the earth. Highness, I don't mind... This way, it's easier to run. Yeah, y'all need to take off them long-ass dresses. Like, y'all out here, you know what I'm saying? It's like, yes, I don't care how I look. The warm fireplace, the waiting servants, I don't need them. It's all right if he can't speak. I'm sure even his wounds will heal. We'll be together forever and ever. So Guts is running ahead. He's like, wait, what's up? He senses something. I heard something. Oh my god, this is not a position that I want to see any man in. But, but hey. You know what I'm saying? So he dives down. And they're like, get down! <laughs> Damn. He almost got guts. So he's there like spinning... Like, what was that? Be on guard. It's still nearby. Because it's dark. It's dark, so they can't really see what's happening. Somebody coming from below. Trying to go off of the... the what's wrong with you, bruh? Trying to jam her like that? Okay. Look like some monsters are living beneath Windham. So Princess Charlotte says Bakiraka. A mercenary band, but specializing in assassination. I've heard that each and every one's a superhuman monster, but these guys surpass even the rumor. To think that he'd sick them on us. The king must have really snapped. So appears try to Gah. So he's trying to kill Griffith. Oh shit no What She took it, didn't she? Yo, Griffith I mean, Griffith, look at his leg, bro. That dude needs to eat. Bakiraka 1 ends. Okay, so we got Bakiraka chapter 2. Highness. She took it, man, to the arm. Your Highness. Mm. Guts goes after him. And he jumps away. 
Oh, you got him. Guts actually got him. Okay. Your Highness, Your Highness. Mm. It probably was poison. It's like, don't move. Blundering fool. Wait. An exchange. Exchange? We want you to hand over the princess. In exchange, we guarantee your life. Say what? The blow dart which struck the princess was poisoned. If left untreated, she will surely die within a short time. We possess the antidote. Don't worry, it will go badly for us if she dies. Now, what will you do, Highness? All right, we'll grant your exchange. You sure? There is no room for choice. It's unavoidable. Good. You there, maidservant, bring the princess here. You are outside our contract. If you don't resist, we won't kill you. Your Highness, please hang on. Okay, so. Princess has to go. Get her always. Okay, look like he's mounting, mounting something. I don't know what he said. He probably said something. Uh, well, I tried to say something because he doesn't have a tongue. So he's like, well, everyone, it was a short while, but thank you for everything. Think, thanks? He, this way. When? Hmm. Now then. We take your lives. These guys are... <laughs> you really trusted this dude? Like, I knew he was going to do that. <laughs> so, Pippin goes after this dude in the water. Did he get him? Did he get him? He's still going after... Former ring around Griffith. They're going after him now. This guy. <laughs> this big ass spear, bro. He throws a spear. Bruh. Um, guts blocks it. It knocks him back. He deflects it. Like, you okay? Stay focused, stupid. What was that? A javelin. It just felt like a cannon. They're sniping us. Douse the light. He's like, don't. That frog thing's still around. Here comes the next. Get down. He blocks it again. Like, it is aim. Is aim's dead on. We're gonna die before we can get close. Now what? I'll put out the light. I have an idea. An idea? No time to explain. Pippin, when I give the signal, hit the wall as hard as you can with your war hammer. Time for my street show. Guess you can pay admission later. <laughs> Fools, they've put out their light. The hawk claws and harpoon will rip you all apart. Judo. What is he doing? Yo, how did he do that? How he threw an a an arrow tip? It seems like he threw an arrow tip. Oh, oh, I see. So he like basically just opened up the wall so he can. So he can, a little bit of light came in, so he can see the dude. He's like, I see him. And now, he sh shoots an, a couple of, yo, that was badass. I am not going to lie, 
that was badass by Jado right there. That was that was badass by Jado. Anyways, we're gonna st stop here for a second. I, I'm getting so excited into this. The thing has been running for 50 minutes. I didn't even realize. Anyways, um, stop right here and do another part. Oh no 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 no. Yeah, I just accidentally press the stream button, so I know a bunch of people is trying to trying trying to get on the stream right now, which would last it for literally two seconds. But anyways, all right, so let's continue here. So that was badass by Jado. It's like now, Pippin, hit it as hard as you can. We'll see the enemy by the sparks. So he was right there over them too. It's like, ah. And they took out both of them. Ooh. Ooh. Guts took the head. And um, what's his name? Casca took out the one in the river. So, or whatever, the water. All right. So that was cool. Flower of the Stone Castle. Okay, so they, those two are dead. All of them are dead, pretty much. So, the Bakiraka is done for. At least the ones that were sent down there. It's like, way to go, Jado. You use sparks to see the enemy's position. The javelin striking the wall and scattering sparks made me think of it. I never thought it would work. I never thought it'll work this well. Shudo, light the lantern again. Okay. Hey, you smell something? What is that? It's like, don't light it. Oh, there's gas. What's wrong, Pippin? Run to the exit. Who is this? Oh. Are they going to escape this? Fire. Why? The dust caught fire. If it catches up to us, even our lungs will be burnt black. Hurry, you got to be kidding. I'm running past everybody. Not good. Pippin. He bangs the wall again. Okay. Kind of as I was like, get down. So, she, yeah, basically I had to open it up so that it can escape. So, they're like, what happened? The same accident happened at a mine I used to work in. Fire will gush upwards to a wider space. Wow. That was quick thinking. Griffith showed me a little bit of, of moonlight coming through the ceiling. Oh, he did? When? It's like, Griffith did. Griffith did? Let's hurry. The exit's not far. And... Who is this they're killing? He? Didn't I tell you I'd never forgive you if any harm came to the princess? On top of that, you let him get away. And you, all the time her maid, you were helping to promote this scheme? Uh, wait. And I wasn't involved. I forced her to be part of it. So let Anna... Uh, highness, please forgive Anna, your highness. Of course, of course. Now you don't worry about a thing. Just get rest. Also, let Lord Griffith go. You... You and he still, Lord Griffith, can no longer speak or move his hands or feet. He suffered enough in the darkness a whole year. Surely your majesty is satisfied by now. Please, don't take anything else away from him. And the king says, very well. I will not interfere with that man again. You may be at ease. Really? I swear, so you should cease worrying about anything and give yourself over to rest. 
She said, thank goodness, your highness. I will see you to the palace, your highness. Thank you, father. Majesty, send out the black dogs. The black dogs? You can't mean a bunch like them. Why is it that every time this dude orders something, everybody's like, oh, no. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, order the black dog knights to pursue Griffith's party and annihilate them. Majesty, please reconsider using men such as those. And he gets slapped in the face. Tell the leader of the Black Dog Knights, Wild, he can name his position and reward if he brings me Griffith's head. Why must his majesty use such scum? Captain, I mean, I know that the Black Dog Knights are made up of former criminals, and it wasn't as much as the Band of the Hawk, but didn't they do really well in the war? You fool! Do not refer to them as knights. They're a disgrace to the Midland Army. Besides that man, sir, that man called Wild. Wild. Wield. There's something strange about him. He's like a beast. Yo. Bro. This dude is just... I I'm guessing this is Wild? Damn, you got a woman just, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> He's just over here just having fun, huh? All right, so, boss, we've got orders to move. Can't you tell by looking, Morin? Morin? Mor mor moron? I'm busy now. Besides, I got to go take care of a little business today. Oh, yeah, but it's an order direct from the king. Something about the boss of the Band of the Hawk breaking out of jail or something. What? And he just gets up and she falls. He's like, now that's funny. That business I mentioned, it's him. Who is this dude? It's with that Hawk boss. Floor off the stone castle. And that is the end of the volume, guys. Oh my god, that was... Ah, oh, man, 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 is all I can say. Crazy times, crazy times, crazy times. I am going to go do the review. It should have been a, a good, you know, three minutes of, of stuff. Uh, well, not good three minutes, a good, you know, 20 minutes or so of, you know, three parts, I should say. Three parts. Um, but I got so caught up in reading, I forgot to take a break, um, take the 30 minute break, um, and it ran for 50 minutes. But anyways, you know, that's how it is. Um, please guys, this, this, this was cool, but I'm hoping that you guys go back to YouTube and at least check out the review over there. Um, because we're also trying to grow the audience over there as much as we are on Patreon. Okay. So thank you guys so much for tuning in. And I will see you guys for the review. All right. So here goes nothing. When it comes on to this manga. And the reason why I'm, I really love this manga. The reason why I'm going to start uploading it more frequently. I'm going to try to do one every. Do one of um, Berserk every weekend. Or at least try to do one read through per weekend. Regardless of what manga it is. Is because I'm realizing how better it is when it comes on. How better compared to to anime, the mangas are usually much better. You know what I'm saying? Anime adaptations can be it can be rough. It can it can be rough. Don't get me wrong. It, it can be rough. Some of the times they do stay true to what's in the manga, um, and some of the times they don't. It's too much filler. Can't deal with it. But anyways, uh, let's talk about what we just read, man. Volume 10 of Berserk was, it, it was bittersweet. It was bittersweet because now I'm kind of understanding why Griffith became who he was, who we saw. That would drive any man into the devil's arm. And, and, and the reason why I'm saying that is not to say that 
it's the best choice, but that would drive a lot of people into the devil's arm going through something like that and then still get to live. You know what I'm saying? Being tortured to the point you, your tongue gets cut out, your face is disfigured, even though they did not show it, I'm guessing his face is disfigured as hell. He's not that pretty boy. He's not prancing no more. I tell you that much. Um, so that was very bittersweet to me. I love also the interactions between the continued interactions between um between Casca and Guts. Love that. Love the fact that they're getting closer. They're kind of like doing the boyfriend girlfriend thing, you know what I'm saying? Playing with each other, him worried about her, stuff like that it was very cool. Um I'm surprised that Charlotte was uh, um that's Charlotte loves Griffith to that point where she would give up everything. And I um but I'm surprised but at the same time not so surprised because you also got to consider the fact of who she has to deal with which is her pedophile dad, you know what I'm saying? Her you know, her dad who wants to do incest stuff to her. It's so you have to consider that too. Um on the other hand, this was a very somber chapter. Guts got mad, of course. You know what I'm saying? I am very surprised that nobody else did. It seems like Griffith, that look that he was giving them, seeing Costco wipe the blood off of Guts, maybe Griffith feels some type of way about that because maybe he felt like Costco would always be there to lean on. Maybe he had some feelings for Costco, but you just couldn't confirm them. There is stuff that is going on, right? So there's a lot of things that we can insinuate that is going to go down in the future. Um, so they're not out of the woods yet. They took care of the 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 whatever the box, box the baristas <laughs> is what I want to call them right now. The, the, the Bakiraka, you know what I'm saying? The Bakiraka, they got, they got owned. You know what I'm saying? Judo did something really cool that I liked. Um, so that was, that was pretty good too. Um, this was more sad than happy because I didn't, I, I knew that he was being tortured, but I, you know what I'm saying? Then they let this, Dude, man, this torturer dude talked about the details before he got killed. You know what I'm saying? And I, I, I know that the author did it for shock value um, because the whole time that dude would not even he would not even get to finish a sentence through that door before before um, before he gets a, a sword through that door. Cause I know I know Guts has the strength to cut through that door. That's why I'm like, why is this dude still talking right now? Why is he being allowed to talk for this long? Why? You know what I'm saying? You just mutilated my friend. Why is he allowed to be talking this long? You know what I mean? So I love it, man. I love it. I love it. I love it. Um, so I'm looking forward to seeing more from this manga because it's, it's such a good one. And all the mangas that I'm reading right now are, are so good. You know what I'm saying? So good. So I'm looking forward to it. Um, it's basically all I have to say about this. I love the relationship building. I'm not happy that Princess Charlotte is back at the palace, even though it was done for a great reason. I was wondering if, if the author was going to try to bring her back to the palace somehow, and he did it in a perfect way. It wasn't like, oh, well, we don't need you anymore. You can go back. He created a reason where she had to go back because I was like, she's just going to be extra baggage or, or if Griffith comes back too, he's probably going to just kill her. Like, let's be honest, she's of no use with the band of the Hawk. She's of no use whatsoever. She's just going to be there as the girlfriend. You know what I'm saying? And I don't think they're in a position to, you get what I'm saying? Like, it just would be, as Casca said, a double-edged sword for them at this point. So I'm glad that she's back there. But I'm also still not really happy that she's back at the same time because of you know, which, but her dad is an old man now. She's can't really worry about her, 
worried about him because he can barely walk, really. So, but he's determined to kill Griffith, man. Determined. Um, so he sends some more people after him. So we'll have that to look forward to. But anyways, man, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the read-through for volume 10 of the berserk manga man i'm really enjoying this and as i said um as a promise i'm gonna try to do at least four of these per month at least four of these per month going forward um you know what i'm saying i'm gonna try if i don't get there then so be it um but i'm gonna be trying to do it do it on the weekends when i have time to do some berserk manga if you don't see it on the weekends then i'll try to put it out sometime in the week but i'm definitely going to try to make the berserk manga a priority for patreon and also for the youtube channel okay so thank you guys so much for tuning in i will catch you guys later man i'm out see you guys later peace